The new information about Fantasia Bunko is too hot. This is Take She Here. This video is an online event commemorating the 35th anniversary of Fantasia Bunko Fantasia Bunko Grand Thanksgiving Online 2023, which was held today. So I will look back on that and give you the latest information. I'm going to summarize this year. This year is the anniversary rush for the light novel label. But this will probably be the last anniversary event of the year. And there's quite a lot of information being announced, so please stick with me until the end of the video. I will look back on the events that took place in order. First of all, this is I'm a VTuber, but I forgot to stop the stream and became a legend. It's commonly known as VD. This one was mainly about cast talk, but it does put a lot of effort into it, with parts where the avatars move and talk, just like a VTuber in YouTube stream. What's more, they were moving three characters instead of just one, which was pretty amazing. I think it's being made in Live 2 Girl, so I think they'll use it for various promotions in the future, and new anime information has also been announced. Furthermore, the cast of new characters has also been announced. Hawaii Koko will be played by Ayane Sakura, who's notable in many roles. Mashiro Irodori will be played by Saku Mizuno. She was previously as Ryo Yamada in Buck the Rock. It has been announced that it is currently scheduled to be broadcast in 2024. The exact broadcast date was not announced, but considering the timing of the first announcement, it seems that it will be broadcast within the next year, which is expected to be in the first half of 2024. I don't think it will be aired, so I don't think it will be aired until the summer season of the earliest. I'd like to air the anime at a time when the YouTube will be really good. Let's look forward to future information. Next up is Spy Classroom. Shortly after the second season of the anime finished airing, new media mix information has been announced for Spike Classroom. What an unexpected setting. There was no announcement of the second season of the anime, but they are going to do some pretty interesting things. Personally, I think there's a good chance that there will be a stage adaptation of Spike Classroom, but in the first place, there is a bit of a stage setting in the original work. So by the way, the cast looks like this. Honestly, as for the stage actresses, I have no knowledge of the cast announced this time. I just did some light research, but it seems like there are a lot of people who have a solid track record in 2.5 dimensional stages, so I can expect a lot from them. If you're talking about C, I was interested in the fact that the main character, Klaus, would be played by a woman. However, the cast member, Rajima San, seems to have previously played the male role of Takarazuka, so I don't think there will be any problems at all. By the way, the park will open in January next year, which is quite early. For those who think that transformation is a little strange, I think that once you see a 2.5 dimensional stage, your values will change in a good way. So it's a good idea to take this opportunity to check it out. As for Spy Classroom, I would like to look forward to the announcement of the second season of the anime while mixing various media. This is our last crusade or the rise of a new world Kimisa. The second season of the Kimisen anime was announced a long time ago, but it seems like a lot of information has finally been announced. By the way, at the event, the original author, they also do road dramas written by Suzanne, and it's pretty much like a breakfast drama CD. It was interesting, so please check it out from the official YouTube stream. And as for the important anime information, there is information that it will start broadcasting in 2024. I wish I could tell you when in 2024. This will also be around summer, so it looks like it will be aired as soon as possible. I think there will be a lot of PVs and other stuff coming out, so I'm looking forward to future announcements. Next up is Data Line. The fifth season of the TV anime has already been announced, so even if you think about it, the fifth season of the TV anime is quite amazing. This time, in addition to the cast talk, the fifth season's PV has also been released. Geek Toys is in charge of the production as well as the fourth season, so the quality seems to be fine at all. It was expected to entering the second half of the season, and the story is also good. It's getting quite serious, so I'm looking forward to seeing how the anime turns out. It's the fifth season of Data Live, but the details of the broadcast date have not been announced, and it is scheduled to air in 2024. This is our last crusade or the rise of a new world, Kimizen. The second season of the Kimi Sen anime was announced a long time ago, but it seems like a lot of information has finally been announced. By the way, at the event, the original author, they also do road dramas written by Suzanne, and it's pretty much like a breakfast drama CD. It was interesting, so please check it out from the official YouTube stream. 
And as for the important Anamime information, there is information that it will start broadcasting in 2024. I wish I could tell you when in 2024. This will also be around summer, so it looks like it will be aired as soon as possible. I think there will be a lot of PVs and other stuff coming out, so I'm looking forward to future announcements. This is the corner of the Fantasia Bunker Writer Roundtable. There's Hajimi Kanzak from Slayers, Takei Kagami from Densetsu no Yusha, Yotaro from E6, and Hiko Nagaoka from Ikunze, which is currently being aired. Legends from Fantasia Bunko. Honestly, this corner was the most interesting part of this event because we're having a roundtable discussion with all the legends, and they talked about the crazy episodes of the Lena industry back in the day, and how it's different from now. It was interesting because it was told from the author's unique perspective. There aren't many opportunities for authors to appear publicly like this, so I was glad to hear their valuable stories. Also, there is new information in the cat corner. Moreover, it seems that the new short story collection of The Legend of the Legendary Hero will be published in the increased issue of Dragon Magazine in November, which will be released on October 20th. Furthermore, it looks like he's writing something about Ned and Den's full-length story, and it looks like Dragon Magazine will have some release information, so if you're a Ned and Yudin fan, it's a must-see, and there will also be a short story about Ned and Slayers. I'll check that as well as well as others. It seems that this Dragon magazine will also feature short stories, such as Takako's Regios and K-Student Council's Aichiko and Tokyo Ravens, so it's a must-see for adult light novel fans. I want it, but what about that area? It's been a long time since I've never read Dragon magazine, and I'm thinking about buying it myself. Next up is the latest information on Demon King 2099. Although it has already been announced that it will be made into a TV anime, it seems like additional information has been released. This new information is that it will be aired in 2024. It has been decided that it will be broadcast within the next year. It was announced quite recently, so I was surprised that it was broadcast so quickly. The details of the production are detailed. As for the staff, I'm starting to talk about it, but it's a pretty interesting series as a self-fantasy, so I'm looking forward to something really good. This is the you were experienced I was not. Our dating story anime corner, but since the anime is currently being aired, there wasn't really any new information. However, the cast talk had an unusual composition, with only three men and no female cast members, so it was a lot of fun. It was really interesting, and I thought it would be nice to have a cast talk like this. The anime has aired up to episode 2, and it turned out to be better than I expected. Personally, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. It's a pure romantic comedy. It's a very good original story. So I want you to say it like this until the end of the anime. This is the last corner, where the latest information on Fantasia Bunko will be announced since it's the last event of the year, but this is what I was most looking forward to. This time, the latest anime adaptation was announced. The decision has been made to make Kujo Denken no Kaitikushi into an anime, so it's finally here. I've been saying endlessly that it should be made into an anime, but it's finally being made into an anime. I'm sure there are a lot of people who are happy about this. I'm sure there are a lot of them. Currently, the original work has been released for up to 15 volumes, so there are quite a few anime adaptations. It took a while, but it's finally been announced. It's a private teacher's main character and his growth after being taught. And since it's a classic work by Fantasia Bunko, why not make it into an anime? It feels like it's going to be made into an anime. This time, there's even a comment from the author and the specific production date. The stuff wasn't announced, but I'm so happy that it doesn't bother me. Well, if possible, I'd like to see a second season like this in terms of content, but what do you think? Well, I look forward to future information about what will happen in that area. Let's go ahead and do it. In any case, in the middle of this event banner is factory electrification. So, I would have been disappointed if it didn't come out like this, but I'm glad that it lived up to my expectations. I know for a fact that this series will give many readers what they want in the end. It's great to see each other, and I think it was the best ending. This time, we brought you a retrospective video of the Fantasia 35th anniversary event. What did you think? There was plenty of information about the new anime adaptation, and the entire event was very interesting. It was a very satisfying event, by all means. What was the topic that made you the most happy? Please let me know in the comments section. Also, there is also an archive distribution available on the official site, so I would be happy next
video.